But we don't have a very good video if we don't get the eggs. 40 seconds left, 27 people watching. Eggs are currently at $66. Really at this point, I don't see them going for $200. There was an egg the other day that was on there for $75 and nobody got it. Okay, we're at 20 seconds left. Okay, I'm putting the bid in at $250 with 10 seconds remaining. Oh, these eggs are expensive. Somebody else threw a bid in at the last second at like 230 bucks. Okay, $250 for emu eggs. I hope it's worth it. <laughs> All right, we've got a new incubator to take care of these emu eggs. This is our new Ova Easy Advance 100 from Brinzi. I couldn't find anything to incubate emu eggs very easily. There were some reptile style cabinets on Amazon and eBay that were pretty cheap, like $150 to $200, but the reviews on them were pretty bad. So we decided to spend quite a bit more on a good cabinet incubator. So it will take care of the temperature, regulate the humidity, and it would turn the eggs all at the same time, which some of those cheaper ones won't do some of those steps. All right guys, our shipment is here. We've got the emu eggs. Let's open them up and check out these bad boys. Oh my gosh, look at these big boys. These eggs are huge. They are like two thirds the size of my head. Oh, they are so heavy. Oh I wish you guys could see and feel this texture. It's the light green is the color of the egg and then there's a dark green texture on top of it. These eggs are huge. I gotta find out how much they weigh because that's actually a big part of hatching out these eggs. All right, we bought this scale off eBay a while ago. So the first egg is 605 grams. Remember that. All right, egg number two is 630 grams. So I need to mark these to remember the day I put them in the incubator so I can track how long they're in there and then also to track the weight of them. All right, now I've got these two eggs labeled with their weight and the date, which today it's December 6th. And it's supposed to take about 55 to 58 days, somewhere in that range for them to hatch. We're at week one for our eggs. So I'm gonna weigh them and see how much weight they've lost. So almost two months and the temperature I need to keep them at is between 95 and 98 degrees. Egg number one went from 630 grams to 620. So I'm gonna shoot for about 96 degrees on my incubator. And humidity needs to be pretty low compared to chicken eggs. These are gonna start out at 25 to 35% humidity. And egg number two went from 605 grams to 595. So they each lost 10 grams of weight this week. And I need to weigh these regularly and make sure that they're not losing too much weight. If they do, then I need to add some more humidity. I'll get them in the incubator this evening and then we'll check back with you in a few days to start to weigh and check in on these eggs. So we are now at seven weeks. This was a seven week weigh-in. So these eggs, if they're gonna hatch, are gonna hatch in the next seven days. As far as weight loss, this one started at 630 grams and now is at 540 grams. So it lost 90 grams along the way. Not sure I'm hearing anything there. And egg number two started at 605 grams and is now at 515 grams. So they both lost uh, exactly 90 grams. I'm not sure I'm hearing anything from either of these eggs yet, so I'm gonna put them back in the incubator. I'm gonna start checking them every day now. All right, so I just read about the cool down test. That's something you can check towards, uh... oh my gosh, I think I just saw this one moving. So the cool down test, you set them out and you can see both ends will get cool if there's nothing inside the egg. And if there is something, you'll feel one end will be warmer than the other. So let's check them out here. I think we might have some movement in one of these though. Okay, this one right here. It's already moved, feels cooler on this end, feels much warmer on this end right here. It feels so much warmer on that side. Which that's a good sign. I just I don't think I've seen that one move. Oh yeah, it's way warmer. This side's warmer. Yep. Ooh. Look at that move. Oh, I saw it. Did you see that? Open it. Okay. What is this? Water? 
All right, so we moved the incubator downstairs so we can all watch the hatch. We're at day 49 still, so over the next seven to 10 days, I'm hoping we'll start to see some activity. I'm not quite sure when I should switch them over from rotating to the hatcher trays. I read for the temperature and humidity I'm using, it's gonna probably take them 55 to 60 days to hatch. So I don't wanna take them off the rotation quite yet. Guys, we wanted to introduce you to our newest animal on the farm, the emu. Hey guys, check this out. It's so cool. Yeah. It's so tall. Yesterday it's been my birthday, the hatch. It hatched on Eli's birthday. How about that? I didn't know he was gonna hatch on my birthday. Some, Some big feet, huh? Yeah. It's you think they'd come out this big from the egg? Well, I figured since the eggs was so big, yeah, it would be pretty big, but yeah. It's amazing how big they are. All right, we're on day 55 and the second egg has yet to make any sound, start any pipping, or show me any indication that there's movement or anything going on inside here. All I have to go off of is warmth, where I read that if one end is warmer than the other, that there could be some growth inside, and I definitely sense some warmth on this side. And so I'm gonna have to try to make a safety hole and create some oxygen if there is an emu is actually gonna hatch out of here. So I'm gonna start on this side. There are some other videos that reference this if you're curious about safety holes. I'm not going in anywhere beyond the shell inside, so I'm just gonna be breaking a little hole in here very gently. All right, so I was able to feel something inside of here. It went in pretty far before I felt anything, and I normally wouldn't have done that because I would have broken the membrane if there was something alive in here, but I didn't hear anything, um, didn't hear any noise inside, didn't get any movement. It's day 55, there should be definitely some movement going on pretty strong right about now. So I think there's something that grew in here, but didn't grow full size. So I'm gonna open up the egg and see what we've got. Well, that was really unfortunate. After opening up the egg, the emu definitely developed. Emu made it maybe about three-fourths the way on growth. Sure had a long ways to go, but you can definitely see the structures there somewhere in probably the last 15 to 20 days. It couldn't make it because it had a lot left to absorb. We're at day 55, so you know, going another five or 10 days, would anything have happened? No, because it was already gone. But that means this guy's gonna need a buddy. It's not recommended to raise just one emu, so we're gonna have to order a couple more eggs to make sure we get a mate for this guy.
So thank you guys for following along with our emu hatching adventure and we're having a lot of fun with them here in the house. <laughs> You got hiccups. The emu is having a lot of fun following us around, picking at our socks, taking little naps with us. So what do you think we should do? Should we hatch out some more emus, get some more eggs? Should we sell our emu and start over another time? Let us know what you guys think. We'd love to hear about it. We'll see you guys next time.